What's up YouTube? Welcome to .NET Mo. In this video, I will show you how to show selected data grid view row in text boxes using a sample project. Before starting this video, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please thumbs up this video. And for more awesome videos like this, please please subscribe to this channel .NET Mo. Here we have a Windows Form application for telephone diary or phone book. Created this application from scratch in another video. You can find the link in video description. Let me run this application. Before explaining this application, let me show you the database for this application. Here we have a database phone book DB. Inside that we have a table phone book. It contains some test data like this. And we have a stored procedure contact view all. Inside the form load event of this form, we have binded these data from this table into this data grid view. Let me show you here. Here we have a function grid fill. Inside that we have created an object of the SQL data adapter with store procedure contact view all. And we have created data table. And we fill this data from this store procedure into the data table. Finally, we have set this table as the data grid view source. Now I am going to show you how you can do this. When you user click on any of this row, we will show the corresponding row details into these form elements here. Let me show you the form design here. Here we have five text boxes: txt first name, txt last name txt contact, txt email, txt address and we have a data grid view dgv phone book. We are going to show selected raw details into these form elements inside the data grid view event cell click. We can also use this event cell content click but there is a problem. This cell content click event will be triggered if you click on this data. If you click here or here this event won't be triggered in order to avoid that problem we have used cell click event inside the event you can see here first of all we have an if block it has a condition if row dot index not equal to minus one we are going to execute these lines this event cell click will be triggered even if user click on this data grid view headers. So in order to avoid the problem we have used this if block here. First of all we have created an object of data grid view and we have stored selected data grid view row inside the variable and we have filled form elements from this selected data grid view row. For that we can do this txt first name dot text equals dgv row that means this row dot cells then we have to pass the column index here or you can use the column names as well like this we have filled or populated five text boxes let me show you one thing here we have used column index instead of that you can use column names as well Using column names will be a good idea instead of column indexes because let me switch to form design here click on right arrow click on edit columns here we have five columns one column is hidden that means address column is hidden from this data grid view here you can see the column names here f name l name contact email and address in the application development stage you may need to change this column order in this data grid view in that case you need to change your column index inside the event here so better use column names for the simplicity i have used column index here let me put a breakpoint here run this application again now let me click on this column headers here so here you can see the row index is minus one so we have avoid the situation with this if block condition here now if i click on this cell you can see that corresponding column header details is displayed in these form elements here that's it guys thanks for watching this video tutorial 
please be subscribed to this channel dotnet mob in order to watch the complete development of this application from scratch i have given the video link in video description please go through that please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye